A unique driver ID and password are required to sign in to an ELD mobile device. These credentials are created by your administrator. If you do not know your driver ID or password, please contact your carrier for assistance. In this video, we will show you how to sign into the ELD mobile device. Let's begin. If the sign-in screen is gray rather than black, you will not be able to sign in using ELD credentials. If you encounter this scenario, please contact support for assistance. Tap Enter Driver ID. The virtual keyboard opens. Enter your driver ID. Tap Next on the virtual keyboard. Enter your password in the Enter Password field. If your motor carrier did not provide you with a password, you must contact your carrier to request one. Tap Done on the virtual keyboard. The device validates your credentials and retrieves your driver logs. This process may take several minutes, depending on how many logs need to be retrieved. Note that you must have a cellular connection to retrieve logs. Device functionality will not be affected. Your logs will update once you are reconnected. The availability preview screen opens and the verify log data window appears. This notifies you of any conflicts or actions in your logs that require your attention. Tap OK to close the window. The availability preview screen shows your last recorded duty status. Driving time left in your current shift, the date and time when you will regain drive time, and the regulations you are currently operating under. If your current drive time shows NA, there is not enough log history for the system to calculate your hours. Please contact your carrier for assistance. If your current drive time shows zero, you do not have enough hours remaining to operate the vehicle. Review your hours of service information before operating the vehicle to ensure all information is true and correct. You are responsible for ensuring that all records required to be in your possession are available in electronic or paper format. After reviewing your log availability, tap status to set your initial duty status. The Choose Status window opens. Depending on your driver profile settings, some status options may not be available to you. Select the status that matches your current activity. You will not be able to continue the login process before completing this step. If you select an active status and your company has the option turned on, the Select Predefined Annotation window opens. Tap the annotation that describes your current activity. It will appear in your log events. Tap Skip to bypass adding an annotation to your logs. The Manage Shipments screen loads. At the top of your screen, a red shipment icon indicates no shipment information has been entered. This icon will disappear once you enter shipment information. You can use your current shipment ID or a new shipment ID. To proceed without adding a shipment ID, tap Next. The No Current Shipments confirmation window opens. Tap Yes to continue without adding a shipment to your logs. To add a shipment ID to your logs, tap Enter Shipment ID. The virtual keyboard opens. Enter your shipment ID. Tap the down arrow to collapse the virtual keyboard. Tap Add. The shipment ID is now listed under Current Shipments. Once all shipments are recorded, tap the Next button. 
If your carrier uses Trimble DVIR, you may be required to complete an inspection during login. For more information, see the Trimble DVIRs on and off duty training video. Once you have completed the login process, the P-Mobile home screen opens. To return to the driver overview screen, tap ELD. You have completed the ELD sign-in training video. To learn more about this product, visit our Learning Center to access on-demand training and online help.